What's up, y'all? It's James Disciple Johnson, national president and founder of Disciple Christian Motorcycle Club. And today we're talking about what denomination of Christian are you? So in Christianity, there's lots of different kinds of Christians. There's Catholics and Pentecostals and Charismatics and Baptists. What does it all mean? Why aren't they just Christians? Well, that's a good question. And I guess it starts with not everybody was raised the same way to believe the same things. Two people can look at the Bible and see something different from it. And each version of Christianity has good things and maybe some bad things and people agree or disagree. But tonight we're going to talk about what it means to be a charismatic Pentecostal. Now, all Christians believe certain things that holds the faith together, and those can be found pretty much, those common beliefs among Christians can be found in something called the Apostles' Creed. So let's go through that quickly, because pretty much all Christians, including Pentecostal Charismatics, believe this. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived of the Holy Ghost. Born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, he was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell, and on the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven where he sits at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. So pretty much all churches believe that, including the Pentecostal Charismatic Church. The thing that really separates most Pentecostal or Charismatic churches is the Charismatic gifts or the gifts of the Holy Spirit found in the book of Corinthians. And those beliefs in those gifts are what separate the... <laughs> and the belief in those gifts is what separates Pentecostal Charismatics from most other denominations. So Pentecostal Charismatics believe that there are things like the discerning of spirits, speaking in tongues, which is like another prayer language, uh, the laying on of hands, the ability to lay hands on people and have the gift of healing. Uh, there are many beliefs that the Pentecostal Charismatic Church holds that much of the rest of Christianity may not hold. So for instance, these separate them from Catholics, these separate them from Baptists, these separate them from uh, a, a variety of the other uh, faiths uh, or denominations of the Christian church. Denomination by itself means difference. It means something's different. Going to a Pentecostal or charismatic church is usually a, uh, it's usually an exciting event. So it may be louder, more people may speak up. Sometimes you'll hear people shout amen or they'll go off speaking in tongues. They might raise their hands more. They might worship a little uh, louder. Uh, they might dance around in their church. They might wave flags during worship music. Uh, it, you're typically going to find a lot more interesting. Uh, of, and, you know, charismatic doesn't mean like uh, outgoing, you know, in this sense. It means the, the gifts, the charismatic gifts of the Holy Spirit. Uh, but you will find a lot more charismatic or interesting or exciting or loud version of church, uh, often at uh, Pentecostal or charismatic churches. One thing you're likely to hear a lot about in the Charismatic Church is the baptism of the Holy Spirit. And this is a specific experience that each believer goes through in Charismatic uh, theology. And that experience is when the Holy Spirit comes into you and you're truly saved. And very often they expect that there's going to be some kind of physical manifestation of that. Whether it's speaking in tongues or being slain in the Spirit, falling on the floor under the power of God. Uh, whether it's uh, you know having some miracle happen, something like that, you can expect that people are going to ask you, have you been baptized in the Holy Spirit? Uh, just like you can be baptized in water, uh, Pentecostal Charismatics feel it's very important to have a specific experience that you can remember where you're baptized in the Holy Spirit. And uh, you can learn more about that by reading the New Testament and understanding what the baptism of the Holy Spirit is. Now the charismatic gifts that the Pentecostal Charismatic Church believes in are apostolic gifts. So these were things that we saw the apostles do, the early church do, and many denominations of Christian faith 
believed that the gifts passed away about a hundred years or so after Jesus uh, was crucified. And many uh, in the church believe that you can no longer lay hands on people and see them healed, uh, or the casting out of evil spirits, uh, or exorcism, that kind of thing. Uh, it's interesting because some churches do. So the Catholic Church believes in exorcism. Many of the churches uh, do, but it's not as prevalent in those churches as you'll find uh, belief in the apostolic gifts to be uh, in the Pentecostal charismatic church. Another thing you may see in Pentecostal charismatic churches is the practice of speaking in other tongues. And so people may be uh, doing what appears to be babbling, shandai, botai, shakalaka, whatever, and you'll see them with their hands up and their eyes closed speaking what seems like gibberish to you, what they believe is a prayer language it's a, uh, that's mentioned repeatedly in the New Testament. And uh, they'll be there with their hands up and their eyes closed, tears streaming down their face. Looks like they're having a absolute uh, connection with God. Uh, and it's, it's really quite a beautiful thing. Um, there are many who uh, say that that's just emotion. Uh, and of course, they're welcome to say that. One of the hallmarks of the charismatic or Pentecostal church is an absolute faith in the unseen. And so you'll often see charismatic or Pentecostal churches that have faith for healings and belief in miracles and uh, they just saw angels or somebody had gold teeth put in their uh, mouth during a meeting because the Holy Spirit changed their regular feelings into gold fillings. And so you'll often hear this incredible faith in the supernatural at charismatic meetings. And, you know, that's what really um, caught my attention about the charismatic movement and that's why I'm a charismatic. Once you see the power of God once, once you lay hands on somebody and pray over them and see them healed, once you experience the power of God, uh, once you're slain in the spirit and fall on the floor in, uh, in a holy, what's the word, coma, where you feel that God is downloading to you, it's hard to deny the reality of those experiences and the power uh, that they have on people who go through them. Last but not least, where did the name Pentecostal and Charismatic come from? Well, the gifts of the Holy Spirit came on the day of Pentecost in Acts chapter 2. And uh, Charismatic means, uh, it refers to charism or charism, uh, which is a gift that the Holy Spirit gives. And so that's kind of a little quick overview about the uh, Charismatic Pentecostal uh, Church. So I'm James Disciple Johnson, National President and Founder of Disciple Christian Motorcycle Club. Check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Share us out there on your social media because we need prayer covering. And the more people that see our posts, the more people are praying for us. Also go to DiscipleChristianMC.com. Check out our mission. Check out what we do. Check out some of the videos. Buy a t-shirt. Support our ministry. God bless you. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you see all the awesome free content we put out by rotating your device and clicking the red icon to follow our channel. God bless you. Thanks for watching.